So we've gone out and bought Romero, 92 rated, and I'd say the best center back for team of the season at this moment in time. It's got a nice triple play style plus with anticipate, slide tackle, and also power header. He's also got long ball pass, intercept, jockey, technical bruiser, and also aerial. Now arguing you could probably want aerial rather than power header, but to be honest, slide tackle anticipate is two of the checklists done when it comes to stats 85 pace 94 defending and 91 on the physical he most definitely is a card that is worth a looking at the minimum 750 at the moment is kind of chilling between that and about 770 780 give or take obviously the shadow is going to be in full effect taking his pace to 93 and his defending to 99 literally everything bar from his head and accuracy is going to be up there with the power header as well i think this card most definitely is going to have a nice slot now the one thing when it comes to these uh live team of the seasons if they are going to be accessible in the specific league so obviously with romero bruno with doku are they going to be introduced into the premier league team of the season re-put back in basically or is this it is this the the kind of upgrade that we're getting and that's it he has got the possibility of going up to 94 as well which would be nice spurs have got to win two of their next league games well the four and then obviously scoring eight goals in the next four as well could get him into either a 93 or or a 94 so there's already even better if he can get up there also so let's jump into him i'm interested to see what he can do let's have a look so if you're looking to improve your team make sure you're heading over to loopbar.gg they are the best and most reliable coin service you can find also with the best 24-hour manual customer service that you physically cannot find anywhere else but before finishing on lootbar.gg make sure you are using the code jt11 eight percent off your first ever transaction and then five percent off every time after that once you've gone through the payment you'll be able to get your coins within the next 24 hours absolutely guaranteed also with the code you'll be able to get five percent more coins on every transaction make sure you do click the link even in the description or down in the comment section below okay very standard team no, no not many team of the seasons going on there which i suppose is nice for the very first week but also back to the triple i'm interested to know what i would kind of like as my triple my ideal triple play style plus i'm thinking anticipates number one easy i then go aerial and then the arguments are either between like Block, intercept, slide tackle, good shot. I'd probably go with one of them. I think slide tackle I've definitely got a bit more fond of now. The power header is going to be brilliant for opportunities in the box if I do throw him in there. Obviously, at the moment, I've got Drogba in the middle, so th there's not too much love going to go to him unless I absolutely force it there, that is. Mbappe on the edge again. Can we, can we go for the finesse over the top of him and for another corner? There he is. Jump for it. I'm <laughs> nearly. Watching nicely. The anticipate is going to be beautiful for him in that centre back role. We managed to squeeze off him. He was looking too much of the defender. Too much of the defender. There it is. Find the slot and Allison with a good save. Got to look at this defensive duty. This is where. There it is. Ooh. Oh, look at the strength. Yes, please. Get the ball out as well. And it's a decent ball also. St. Max going for a little bit of a run. Ashley Cole. Oh, st just call me Kevin De Bruyne. There it is. Find the volley. It's it's a pass. It was a pass. I, I, 100%. I, 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 I was going to. Of course I was going to pass that. Allison again coming up trumps. I swear this is only the gold Allison as well. What on earth is he team of the season level as Rolfo tries to find? I want to try and push him back a little bit into Romero there because he's just there. I need him just to hang it a little bit more. There it is and nearly gets it. And I think he's had enough. Bye. Coming across, Vidic and Romero should be a really good partnership as well. You've obviously got both of them very... I'd say de definitely with this Vidic, the Galazzo, very much a, a kind of a pacey pairing, as well as in having incredible physicality and also defensive stats. Like we say with uh, Romero, 99 with the shadow is is just brilliant. Like that, that's definitely one to to be looking at. And it's only going to go better from there if he does manage to get the double upgrade. 
it's just going to be easier and easier to, to get himself into that absolute top category. Ooh, coming down the side. Because obviously as well, if he does get the double upgrade, which I don't think it's necessarily the hardest thing. Eight goals. I mean, what? If you've got four games, it's two goals a game. It's possible. I'd, I'd say to take the pressure off, preferably you would have to have easier opponents as such. Or at least opponents where it's not like you're playing Arsenal or City where it's kind of like the, the defensive side is not conceding many. Then obviously that one would be a little bit easier if you could get like a, a game where you manage to get three or so. That, that would make life so much easier if, rather than trying to get two goals a game on average. But I think it's, it's definitely possible. Romero coming across... Good anticipate. Obviously, he does have the slide tackle, which it comes in useful every now and then. After using Maldini for so long, I've realized that it may not be the normal play style you want to use every single time, but it does have its uses every now and then, especially in them last-ditch challenges where slide is the kind of last option. That is going to be the perfect use for it, I've found at least. Ooh, there we go. Bruno Fernandez. Which Bruno is that? Oh, it's just a normal one. I like that you can kind of tell now just purely from the play style. Plus is ah, rebound galore. But it is important as well, just in general, to have a very good back line. And I must admit, nowadays, you, you can get it pretty cheap. Like, we can see, even looking at somebody like uh, Hincape, like 100 and something K, he's got himself some play style pluses. You could, you could argue whether they are decent or not, but he's... Oh, nearly. He's going to at least have the stats. The play style plus has come after. He's at least going to have the stats that will work in, in your favor. Romero back to him. Little turn out. Little one. Can we get a little chip in? We can add that to the repertoire of him. He can cross. watch both of these does it well and there's the pass oh okay there, there's the pass oh, rebound galore like what did i say there it is oh <laughs> power header hey watching that all day long really really good for a couple of games here i must admit in terms of pace or everything about him is is what you kind of expect uh, nearly strength wise referee anything come on where's the danger where is the danger it's coming across watching that the only problem is as soon as you go on to the the yellow card that that's kind of you done with slide tackles for the game so i'm kind of done with the sliding unless it's absolute danger at the end Good interception. Nice and simple. Oh, nearly getting an assist. So going into the overall form then. I think he's absolutely perfect. He's obviously one of the better centre-backs you can get from this week. Whether we see that he gets upgraded over the next now kind of couple of weeks of him having his four matches. And let alone then him still staying in the conversation after the Prem team of the season, Bundes, La Liga, plus all of the minor leagues, that's going to be the interesting part. But he's got a good start to him. Obviously, the, the kind of others, you've got Bisek, you've also got Hincapi as kind of the cheaper options. You've got kind of like the high, medium, low. But I do think he definitely comes out on top in my opinion, I think he's one of the better ones that you could possibly get. 765, between, he's fluctuating between about 760 to about 780, 790, give or take. I like the play style pluses. Anticipate is my favorite. Slide tackles, another good one. Power header is an extra one if you're going for kind of like corners. If you've not got someone like a Drogba in the box, that again is going to work really, really well. I would preferably like aerial and maybe a bit more of a weak foot rather than a skill move. But again, they are just 
extra nitpicking. Shadow is definitely the option to go with here with obviously the pace going to 93, maxing out the defending to 99. Plus then, like I said, with the extra bonus of upgrades, if he does manage to get one or two upgrades, you're looking at what, 94, 95 pace instead, an extra two on the physicality, maybe one, same as the dribbling. Composure goes up by one at least. That is going to be a very, very nice card nonetheless. Whether we see him drop in price over this kind of, I think normally it's about Monday, Tuesday, they start really averaging out once we've gone through the real set of promo packs, upgrades, and all of that stuff. But I think he's solid. He's absolutely brilliant. He's kind of the first one really at the top level with a triple play star plus. I'd be very interested to see what the rest are going to be like. Are they going to have as good a play star pluses as him? I can imagine they will do. And also, what are the ratings that's going to happen? So we'll keep you updated with if he does get to 94. 493 at the very minimum. Let me know down below what you think, and I'll catch you all for the next one. Peace.